Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna get ready. Well, I am kind of ready, as ready as I'm gonna get, and go out and get a few groceries. Still having a lot of problems there today, um, like I have been for the last few days. That's how it goes. It goes in spurts like that. It's there all the time, but then it like goes on fire. Anyways, long story short, nobody wants to hear about this negative shit, and that's what I'm gonna say, negative shit. Um, I was gonna make a rhubarb, I think I might do an apple rhubarb or something. So I'm gonna see what I'm gonna come up with. Not that I need to be eating this crap, but I'm gonna make it anyways for YouTube and for my followers. And I might buy the craft stuff, and most likely. And I just need a few other little groceries. Trying to think what else I need at the grocery store. Some vegetables, obviously. Mm, maybe some chicken. I'll see when I get there. Anyways, follow along, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a pie today. We've been having a major windstorm the last few days. There's twigs everywhere. Uh, I'll come back and clean this up. It's everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to deadhead this a little bit. I had to take the plant off the stand here because it was so windy. Yeah, I need to come clean up the yard. There's stuff everywhere. Look at the mess. And the plants here are all taking a little bit of a beating, but they all look okay. I'm just taking a quick peek. Okay, this, I hope this comes in soon. But when I come back, I'll get the blower if it's not. Try to put this back. Maybe I should just leave that alone for now until the wind stops. Yeah. And now I'm talking to myself. Well, I definitely have to come back and clean up this. The cherry tree's dropping a lot of cherries from the wind. She's got quite a few more than I thought she Probably quite a, yeah, I gotta come clean all that up. Oh, it's always something. Trying to have a me day. I left my pocketbook up here. And got in the car and realized, thank God I realized, you know, your life's in there, right? I had a bag to take out to the recycle, that's why. Thought I might as well check on the morning glories since I'm back in the back of the garage. Oh, look at them, they're coming right up. I didn't even train that. Okay, looking good. This one's looking way better, but it's all good. My nasturtium is growing in there. And there is some Cosmos coming up in here. I have a cloth in my hand because I wipe down the mailboxes on my way out all the time. I know I'm a little anal. So windy, one of the power lines blew down, so I'm caught in a little traffic jam, but I'd want my power too, so I'll wait. Well, I knew it was really windy, but there's a lot of damage all over the city. Anyways, um... I'm complaining about some cherries blown over and some plants. Look at this mess. Glad it's not me. Ah. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Well, I'm going to go into Loblaws here. Uh, I didn't go up to the, my Asian market, even though I wanted to, because it's Saturday and the traffic's really bad. Oh, I love flowers. They have, nothing's on sale yet, though. I'm not buying anymore until I find a perennial on sale. Anyways, I'm going to enter in here. Oh, I should have got a cart. Hold on. Oh, all these little treats, and I don't need any of them. Oh, what do we have here? Wish that was real crab. It's that Pollock stuff. Okay. All the good deli stuff. I'm into these cheeses, but I try to stay away from them because they're fattening. Okay, I'm gonna get serious here. I'm gonna get some cabbage and. What else do I need? Some zucchini, mushrooms, and cilantro. $53 per slab of salmon. That's ridiculous. 
so I guess I'm not buying that. Sometimes they have a sale on. Not today. We have bee pond special. Even that though. I can't eat all that. out here okay i got a pound of butter goat yogurt a tin of um smoked oysters two tins of two tins of um tuna solid tuna a big spanish onion i did buy a pack of tuna instead of going to the butchers because i'm not feeling great don't want to run out again some roti skins to make my flatbread pizzas um some cream coffee cream I think I bought, yeah, I bought coffee too. I bought um, the Smart Pop Corn. It was on sale, two for five. These were on for 89 cents to uh, the sparkling waters. I got a tomato, a lemon, another bag of sprouts. I have to get up to my Asian place. A red cabbage, two kinds of apples, cilantro, cucumber, bananas, a green cabbage, some crackers, coffee, a couple potatoes, eggs i don't know if i said cucumber i bought these they were on sale they're usually 3.99 each they were on for two for five um they they store well and it's good till quite a long time it's just um thai sauce some brown sugar and some dates bananas i think that's everything yeah that's my haul that's it that's all and that came to 146 dollars unbelievable and I forgot, um, this was on the, up at the top of the stairs. I had to carry all this up the stairs, that's killer. I bought uh, arugula and spinach for salads. Well, I'm gonna have to get busy here and at least cut this rhubarb up. So I guess, and I got some different kinds of apples here and I might do something together or separately, I'm not sure yet. But I am gonna get busy and chop up the rhubarb, clean it. This basket's doing really well. Um, I just love how one day I have pink, one day orange, one day yellow. And today I have all three, which is really nice. My geraniums are getting a little lost back there. Oh, God. I'm getting some flowers over there, too. But uh, the nasturtiums are definitely like in the cold night. This was my um, struggle geranium but she's got lots of bloom, blooms now she's doing really well look at them all in there okay i'm gonna go make coffee while the kettle's on and have a coffee and i am gonna make my pie today which will be on a separate video oh, i'm getting geraniums over there too the mint of course does fabulous but i just do that for a filler and my lemon tree's doing really well too i grew this from seed she's doing good though She's really full and healthy. Okay, I'm gonna run in and make my coffee. Look at all the cherries up there. I got a lot of cherries. This is out my living room window. She's coming in. The birds have been feasting. But, oh, when it's in bloom with flowers out my living room window, it's absolutely beautiful. But there's lots of cherries. Not as many as last year, but still lots. You could find it to the time to like and subscribe. I'd really like that. Thank you for watching always. Well, I'm going to get all this cleaned up. I got the blower out here. And after the storm, I just have a lot of twigs and stuff. I don't have like the damage a lot of people had, but it was just a big windstorm. But um, about two hours um, east of us, they actually had a slight tornado. Look at this little birdie. He's picking up a feather for his nest, I guess. Aw. She's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna get blowing here. Love this machine, love it. Look at all the cherries down here. Everywhere. <laughs> Some twigs and stuff here. A lot of cherries have fallen. All over the place. I gotta clean all this up. So nobody walks in them. They're all, I did all around the house and everything. This is for the laundry room down here. So 
get that down and I'm done down here. I just watered everything. Okay, everything's all cleaned up. Looking good. Got the cherries all cleaned up. Some are still on the lawn, but um, just watered all the little plants. And this is growing really good. The herbs, they seem to be liking where they are. The fern had taken a, a beating from the sun, but I moved her. She's got all new growth, so it's all good. I'm waiting for a uh, big rain so I can dig some holes here. The soil here is so depleted from the trees. Um, and then I'm gonna add, I'd like to add three more hostas back here. Um, the big one there is the kind I want, the, I guess it's called the elephant ear maybe. I want three of them over here. One there, one there, and one there. And maybe something in the middle there, right there. I don't know what yet, but I'll find something. And these will grow bigger too, right? And then I'll just keep pushing this through the yard. But so far, that's what I have going on. Oh, everything took a little bit of a beating from the windstorm. But she's coming back, so. I put down all the planters and everything, so that helped a lot, I guess. But, you know, hostas, they're healthy. They'll, they'll live through anything. But it's all looking good. The wind's blowing. It feels so nice, actually. To eventually have this all be hostas too, because it's total 100% shade. I see some big twigs that need to be picked out of there. <sighs> um, cherries are everywhere on the ground here, but that's okay. They'll just be like fertilizer. Not worried about that. Okay, that's all cleaned up. I'm gonna go up. Climbing over here to see how my rose plant's doing. She's had four flowers. Um, I've had her two weeks and she's got tons of new growth over there and tons here. This should cover the whole back of the um, terrace one day, hopefully sooner than later. You know how you want that prettiness right away, but she's doing well. I'm gonna take off the dead flower. Oh, she's almost dead. They come out bright yellow and then they go pale. I shouldn't be cutting it with my nail. Not healthy for the plants, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna close and I'll see you for my pie video coming up next.